What's up everyone, Josh Baldwin here with Vegan Fit. So everyone knows how to do a seated row, right? No, not so much. This is a big problem area for a lot of clients and a lot of guys I see at the gym. The biggest mistakes I see most of the time is that people just aren't utilizing their back muscles. They're kind of ripping backwards, squeezing the biceps, squeezing the forearms, using their lower back. They're missing out on that great, great exercise that is a seated row. Now, the seated row is, is probably the best bang for the buck back exercise. It's right up there with a pull up or a pull down, mainly because it targets so many different back muscles. This one starts all the way up at the traps, works its way down through the ROMs, through the lats, the lower back. This hits everything. And you'll also get a little bit of bicep, of course, and a little bit on the long head of the tricep. But it's a killer, perfect back exercise. If you want to get bigger lats, bigger back, this one is hard to beat. Just make sure that your form is under control. You want to sit up nice and straight, right? You're going to lean back a little bit. That's totally fine. But don't let yourself lean back by like a foot or so. You want to just sit up tall and get those clean squeezes in and maintain control no matter how heavy the weight is. There's no excuse for you to start losing your form. If you cannot maintain your form, just lighten the weight up a little bit and work on getting better squeezes. Believe me, Nothing's going to be gained if you're just kind of ripping the weight back with bad form. You got to maintain control on these. Now you can also do these with all kinds of different grips. You could do the seated row with an underhand bar, overhand grip. You could do like a lat high pull. You could do all kinds of really cool exercises with the seated row position. But the neutral grip is kind of the standard one that most guys use. So that's what I'm covering here today. So the first thing when you're getting set up is to make sure you sit up tall. Use your legs to push that weight back the first rep, right? Don't, don't just rip it back with your lower back. Use the legs, slide back, sit up tall, and squeeze back. Now, if you're using a lot of weight, you may end up leaning back a little bit. That's totally fine. Just make sure you're not pulling back really hard and utilizing the lower back. We want to make sure that your lats and your roms and your traps, that's what's doing that squeeze right there, and you're not just leaning back with the lower back. Now here's an example of how I see a lot of guys at the gym doing these, is they kind of pull back first with the lower back and get straight after they've already done that, which is really bad. The other thing you see is when people lean back too far. This is not really going to help you. This is not very advantageous for helping to strengthen the back. You're really strengthening your lower back in this situation, possibly hurting your lower back. You're certainly not helping the target, the key muscles that we're looking for here. It's going to be hard to get lat growth and get growth throughout the middle of your back by just leaning back as hard as you can. One last little mistake I see a lot of guys make is that when they come in at the very end, they kind of squeeze and rotate their hands inward. And this basically puts a lot of the pressure on the forearms. So what happens is, instead of getting that perfect lat squeeze at the back, by the time you get to the end, if you curl your hands in and squeeze your forearm, you're basically going to be taking the pressure off of the lats and off of the middle of your back and kind of pushing more of it onto your forearms. So you're really, not only could you hurt your forearms or it's not good for that reason, but the main loss here is that you're missing out on the best part of the exercise, that squeeze in the back. So make sure you keep your hands straight up, and as you pull back, they stay straight up. Don't let them rotate inward at the end. Now let me show you guys one of my favorite supersets to do with a seated row. We're going to use two separate handles here. Now this arguably could even be a better exercise than a fixed handle, because you can get a little bit deeper when you've got two separate hands. Either way, it's a great exercise, whether it's better or not, that's kind of somewhat up to you and what feels better for you. But what's awesome about this one is as soon as you're done with that and you kind of fiddle around with the weight for a minute there, then you can go ahead and grab the weight with a lighter weight and go right into a lying down curl position. This is a killer, killer superset. It nails the biceps. Of course, your back gets hit in the first one. Your biceps are pretty warmed up. And then after you do that row, you go right into these lying down curls. And believe me, it is a killer on the biceps. Just keep your back flat on the bench like that. Don't let it sit up a bunch. So you can see here again, you're just going to be sitting up nice and tall, squeezing back smoothly. Don't rush these exercises. When you're doing a row, the last thing you want to do is kind of yank the cables, right? Keep it smooth, pull back, 
nice and clean. Get that good contraction in your lats and squeeze. As soon as you're done, can't do any more reps. Lighten the weight really light. Lay down and just hit these lying down curls. Keep your back on the bench and smooth squeezes. This one absolutely lights the biceps up. One of my favorite supersets. Definitely give this a shot. Hopefully this helps you guys get that perfect form you're doing seated rows. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comment section. I'd be glad to help you guys out. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys at the next video. Shut down.